Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Landon and we are here again today for another BTS roadmap video. So I don't know if you noticed, but I changed my introduction video. I've been working really hard on it. I wanted people that were finding my BTS videos to know exactly where I was in the BTS roadmap, make it easier for everybody. And I think it's pretty cool to like kind of mark that progress for me. So from here on out, I'll kind of try to keep up with that. Some quick notes on that. A, I don't know what I'm gonna do when we get to like the 14th album, <laughs> sorry. B, it's still a work in progress. I'm new to video editing, so I'm not really 100% with it, but we'll get there. It'll be an evolution. Okay, bitch, call me Pokemon. I'm going to evolve. But with that being said, it is time to dive into our first ever song from BTS's second mini album or extended play. So we really haven't even gotten to like a real full length album yet by them. And that's what got me so gooped is that we still have so much to go. And I'm so excited to get into each individual era. We're gonna switch it up a little bit today with this. We are gonna be listening to the song first and going over the lyrics via the YouTube video with the color-coded lyrics. Cause you guys know I have a lot of trouble keeping up with who's saying what and trying to get it translated and all of that. So what we're gonna do is really try to focus on that. I still have dual set pulled up. I still have Lyric Genius pulled up to give me who is saying what in case we need that. So let's go ahead and dive into Boy In Love, the lead single from School Love Affair. <laughs> let's do it. It's like pulling the trigger, you know what I mean? Oh, oh, we have this different here. This is giving me vibes of intro persona from Map of the Soul 7, where it's like that American hardcore rock vibe, where it's like, bow, bow. they're still doing their rap over it though. It's okay, 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 okay. So we have the intro by Jungkook, rapped by, saying, I wanna be your lover, or Opa. Opa is what a female calls an older male. It can be her biological brother, an older male who can feel close to. For the second reason, it is not uncommon that a boyfriend is called Opa by his girlfriend when he is older than her. Okay. Okay, so does it have to be that age part of it? I don't know. So maybe he's just like saying boo. I don't like that it's like a male that's older. I know it's, it's Korean tradition to kind of address people of elder age by different phrases. So, um, interesting. Jungkook is basically saying he's ready to fall in love. He's ready for this commitment. And then V comes and says, I'm so hungry for your love. So like we have this hard rock coming in here, ready for some love. These are boys growing up. These are boys going through puberty, going through teenage life. They are like, Hormone ridden, looking for love. <laughs> Let's keep going. Okay, so I am really feeling from this. Jungkook being a rap line. I don't know. We're going with it and we're liking it. We're feeling it. Different <laughs> from how I was first introduced to him through Map of the Soul 7. But I will say that verse from RM real quick. I felt his passion. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I felt RM. I felt his hunger. He really is looking for love and I can feel it. Side note disclaimer, y'all, I'm sorry. I'm not home alone today. I cannot uh, turn the air off from my video conveniences. Sorry about that. It's summer. We gotta get used to it. So let's talk some lyrics. So Jungkook comes in and says, Dad, how on earth did you confess your heart to mom? Should I try something like writing a letter? What is this? I become like dust in front of you. Okay, so we have Jungkook asking his dad how he asked his mom out. He's like, did you write a letter? Like, how did it go? I don't understand the dust in front of you part. Like, I'm trying to think. I'll become like dust in front of you. Somebody help me out with that one. I don't know what that means. RM then comes in and says, I become mean, grumpy, and whiny for no reason. I'm serious, but I end up picking a fight with you like a loser. Why do I bother to care about you? You make me a grown up child. I'm going to flip the situations from friends to lovers. And so he's basically saying, you make me angry because I love you so much. I end up picking a fight with you like a loser, like maybe like teasing in a schoolyard, like little boys used to like tease little girls and be like, ah, oh, ooh, cooties. But it really kind of meant they love them. That's what I'm getting from that. Why do I bother to care about you? you make me a grown-up child. I think that's what it's kind of saying. You regress me back to my old days and my old tendencies when I was a child around girls. You make me feel immature inside. But I'm gonna flip the situation from friends to lovers. But he's like, I'm gonna make it work. I am getting a little bit of a forceful vibe <laughs> from this song. We'll see. It's just, I guess maybe the hard rock guitar mixed in with the passion from RM and then saying like, I will turn us into lovers. <gasps> you know, that's just what I'm getting from it. I get it though. Teenage boys, they, they don't get it yet. <laughs> No, he's not. Oh. What 
in the Blink-182 is this? What are we going back to my emo days? My hair is growing out by itself. Is it turning purple like it used to be? Maybe so. Oh my gosh, is that AFI? My Chemical Romance? What are y'all doing here? This is crazy. <laughs> this is rock rap. This is rap. <laughs> Whatever. Y'all, I don't even know what just happened in front of me. They are so diverse. They can literally change things up. I think that J-Hope just literally said the alphabet in there. Let's digest this one sec. So J-Hope comes in and says, if I can get into the same college with you, I think it'll be a good one. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, Hakuna Matata. <laughs> Why do I keep checking the same profile picture of yours? But don't misunderstand me, I'm not an easy guy. Oh, I thought it said something else in the other lyrics. So I just love J-Hope for this. He like threw the alphabet in there. He said Hakuna Matata, Child of the Lion King, probably the same era that we were children like he was like a part of my childhood love that then in the pre-chorus v and jungkook come in together pretty much together and sing i got anxious and angsty what are you do you think you're something else why do you keep teasing teasing me you should stop now hold up hold up hold up hold up sorry <laughs> he's like i'm getting nervous because you keep teasing me but i don't know if that girl's there i haven't i, I think i need to see the video to see the storyline play out here because it's kind of sounded like why you keep teasing me stop it like you know you want this kind of thing but <laughs> we gonna sing because then jungkook comes in with the chorus and says, hold me tight before I eat you up. Dual said, we got the Jeffrey Dahmer mode on here. What's going on? Because I thought, yeah, in the video, it says, hold me tight before I kiss you. <laughs> before my heart lets you go, say what you want, say what you want. What is it that you really want? So tell me what you want, what you really, really want. I'll tell you what I want, what I really, really want. <laughs> Another 90s reference. I feel like there's like a lot of 90s American references in here. It does say here on Lyric Genius that this is a typical high school love song with a case drama style music video. Throughout the song, BTS sings for the girl to win her affection. They sing about their nervousness and their confusion over their feelings for this girl. This is a sense of arrogance in the song. They sing, if you lose a guy like me, you'll regret it. <sighs> Oh my god. They're really nervous because she is a beautiful girl and a bad girl. That was commentary about, about Bunny K. I don't know. Um, let's keep listening because I didn't hear that other aggressive part yet, but we'll keep going. Hey, yeah. Shook us at Oh, oh my God. There were so many problematic things in that verse, I believe, but it was like actually one of the most diverse verses I've heard from them sonically the entirety of the entire T. <laughs> I can't speak. I loved J-Hope and Sugar's interaction on that verse so much. We're gonna break down those lyrics. Do not worry. But I just had to stop and say that like that back and forth, y'all. Uh, I loved it. Let me go see what they say before I give them too much credit. Oh my God. These little boys here. <laughs> Sugar says, you're a bad, bad girl on the outside and even more of a bad, bad girl on the inside. You're gonna regret it if you miss a guy like me. Your behavior, checking my message, but not pressing keys to reply, leaving him on red. <laughs> I get anxious as soon as the one disappears. This pleases the number of people who has yet to read the message. Okay, so he's left on rep. Maybe I should buy a GPS. Fast, fast, fast. To appeal to you, I keep struggling, struggling, struggling. True heart, I got him. Endurance, I got him. The only thing I failed to get is your beauty, beauty, beauty. <sighs> <laughs> sugar, 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 <laughs> sugs, man. Um, sometimes you gotta just like take the message. <laughs> if she reads it and doesn't reply, <laughs> Sugar, you can't say that you're gonna get a GPS. <laughs> you know, that is when the cops need to get involved. But we will um, forgive it. I understand there's a deeper meaning behind it. Just a disclaimer here too. I know there are so many different references in the Korean world that I don't understand and they may have completely different meaning here in America. Understand I acknowledge that, everybody. Please understand I acknowledge that. I'm just reading it like I'm reading American English and this is what I think. But I know that you guys will come through and correct me and I appreciate y'all for that. Hold up. <laughs> Okay, all right, so we got through RM in the chorus again. Let's see what RM had to say in his little verse part here. How should I, someone like this, change? Hold up. Push and pull, play in the field, I don't really know such things. But when you're sick, call me instead of 911. If you tell me to cry, I'd cry. If you tell me to smile, I'd smile. If you tell me to roll on the floor, I'd roll. Okay, so this is a little bit more like I'll give all of me for you from RM that I'm getting and I'm liking that. I'm liking the subtle, nice approach. I don't understand what he's saying about like, how should I, someone like this change? <laughs> like this? 
I'm vroom vroom. We in the fast lane. Keep up. No, I'm just kidding. But he's saying he doesn't play the field. He's not a push and pull kind of person, which I love. He's like, I'm not about playing games. We like that here. No games at all. All right, let's keep going. We're going to now hear the bridge from Jungkook, Jin, and Jimin. <laughs> Let's go over this bridge really quickly. I think we have some good, nice things to say. So Jungkook Jin and Jimin come in and say, basically, I want to be your lover. Why don't you know my heart for you, our love? Even though you pretend you don't know me and act cold, I cannot push you away. I want to be your lover. I'm going to be your man, wait and see, so that my heart can reach you. I'm going to run to you now. So I see a little bit more sweetness in this being like, I want their hearts to connect. And it's just really about having that crush where you just love somebody so much. And so like you put yourself in those positions where like, oh, they're at the water fountain. <laughs> me too. How weird. Oh my gosh. I just made friends with the locker neighbor next to you. Isn't that crazy? <laughs> but don't be a stalker. Sugar, don't get no GPS, okay? <laughs> no, but y'all, for real though, just to kind of sum it up, I love that song. The, sonically, that was so different from what's normal from them, as far as I know so far. And I, I love the way it sounded too, in the end when they had the... <laughs> <laughs> but y'all, let's go ahead and watch the music video for this. I'm so ready to see the story they wanted to tell. Let's freaking do that. <sighs> it's been forever since I've seen them all dance and really just like kind of blow me out the water. So I'm ready for this, I think. <sighs> Big hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is a gross ass bathroom, better get the hell out there. Are we gonna stalk this girl? I'm kind of weirded out by it, but it's it's okay. I know we're young here. We're young here, we're cool, it's fun, we're fine. I'm definitely here for that. They just look so different and this is exactly what I look like in my emo days. I can't stop looking at Jimin with that hair. It is literally me trying to be emo back in the day and I just I, I, I just started getting triggered a little bit and um, <laughs> it took me out of my element. No, I love it though. Their dancing is so good. I'm feeling it so much right now. Let's keep going. <laughs> Hopping this time, he's coming around the top to come around the top. Come on, let me go. I know J Hope coming around the top, let me go. Um, I'm sorry, I'm just like J Hope right now. He's looking, he's looking different. He's looking good. All these boys over here, they're dancing so well. I'm just, I'm trying to take it all in. I'm not sure why RM was actually screaming on the intercom. <laughs> Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. What is this happening right now? Why are we doing a urinal scene? Y'all couldn't talk next to the sink outside the bathroom door? What kind of bullshittery <laughs> is this? <sighs> calm it down, calm it, calm it down. <laughs> I will say before Shug, hey, so sorry to pause you real quick, Shuggy. What I will say is that they've come so far in their lyrics. These are not the lyrics that I really want to be singing all the time. As far as come here, or I'll make you kind of thing. Come here, I'll jump on you kind of thing. Is Boy With Love like some kind of like reprise for this? Some kind of like different version of it being like, hey, we're not like that. Maybe we really need to dive in the lyrics of Boy With Love again now and like compare those two. Let's keep going with Shug and J-Hope because this is probably my favorite verse from the BTS boys. <laughs> Oh, I am so mad at myself for saying this is one of my favorite verses in the BTS world and then Sugar like shakes a girl on the wall. 
I think that has to make it lower it a little bit. Sugar, that was a little aggressive. Uh, like, it's okay when you do it with your brothers and stuff, that's fine, but like, you can't shake somebody to make them love you. That's pretty problematic. I think the times were different back here. I think that's what everybody is saying. I get it, I get it 100%. I'm glad these boys have changed, put their heart towards philanthropy, giving back and showing nothing but love. And I think that's, I just keep going back to this reference in my head of boy in love and then boy with love. Cause like a boy in love can be seen as like somebody with like a crush that's like, I'm in love with you. I'm gonna do whatever I can to be with you. But then a boy with love is like, hey, I found myself and I have so much love that I'm ready to spread it out now. Is that any kind of like connection with there? Y'all let me know in the comments because I think that's, that's a way to show improvement from here. Because while this is one of the most catchy sounding songs I've heard from them and one of my favorites sonically sounding, when you actually get down to the nitty gritty, I just don't know if I could be like, yes. I'm, I'm gonna listen to it. I'm definitely gonna listen and learn it. I just, I'm gonna have to put a disclaimer in my brain that this was a different time, you know? Okay. I don't like how he just dragged her into the room. It makes me feel very sad. Like, let that girl decide to come into the room if she wants to go into the room. I know you have something to say, but literally you just said you have a text message. Just because she's not reading text messages don't mean she gets to get drugged into a room. Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. Different times and different cultures. It's different times and different cultures. I'm not going to hate on them. I'm not hating on them. I love these boys. And I know what they evolved into because I've seen it now, so. Because I'm sure that having the bad boy image, that was all over the TV and stuff whenever I was growing up. Like, in the 90s and early 2000s sitcoms like that's how it worked you know what i'm saying it's just 2020 now and we think completely differently and to look back on those old cartoons and those old sitcoms and stuff you cringe but we can't belittle the people we have to understand that we learned and especially like the boys of bts that have shown that they have given back and changed that's the big story here so listen i'm over here trying to be all defensive of the boys and be like don't come for them but like everybody has seen this video already except for me so i don't i'm not like i don't know <laughs> Let's let's keep going. Let's finish this up. Here we go. I knew it was gonna be They were flipping me off just now. <laughs> okay, so that was a video. You know, I've said a lot about it already. Let's be honest. I'm not going to repeat all of that. But what I will say is that they did look cool in this video. I do understand the appeal they were going for. They're the bad boys. They'll do what they want to do. They'll get the girl kind of thing. And I understand that trope that they're playing into. I can't say that I support it now, but I understand that it was a part of their evolution and I accept it. And I see what they have done in the future, like I said, to forgive them for having some of these messages in there. So I hope that you guys have liked this video. If you did, make sure you click the thumbs up down below. Also, so comment down what your favorite song from the era coming up is. I'm excited to see the new whole album. I know we got some other good songs on there too, y'all. This was different, so I'm excited to see where it goes. Ah. Also, subscribe to the channel. Click the notification bell to be updated with all my new videos. Lastly, I want to say thank you to everybody from my Patreon. If you guys are interested in seeing the unedited version of this, or if you're interested in seeing my run videos, if you're interested in seeing exclusive videos and all my other unedited stuff, go ahead and um, check out my Patreon. The link will be in the description below. But other than that, guys, thank you so much for watching. Watching, and here we go guys <laughs> school love affair is here <laughs> with that being said I'll see y'all soon bye <laughs>